Dear students, parents, relatives and friends, for me it is an honor and a pleasure to welcome you on behalf of the Mathematics and Computer Science Department of this university. A special greeting for those who are viewing us from a distance through live streaming. I hope you will enjoy it out there and can share to some extent the festive atmosphere here. Today, we issue Bachelor of Science certificates in the domain of computer science and engineering offered in two flavors, web science and software science. We do this in two sessions. The first session was at two this afternoon. And uh, we made a division mainly based on year of enrollment. After a short in introduction of our department, I will give some characteristics about the group of graduates of today, the total group, that is. The Department of Computer Science and uh, Mathematics is responsible for the educational programs it offers and for the facilities for its students and teachers. We do have a strong track record. More than 5,000 students have graduated thus far, and year after year, we are ranked as the best Dutch bachelor program in computer science and engineering. This department is also well known for its excellent and committed teachers. However, students often wonder why staff members are not always available to them. The reason is, of course, that besides teaching, we do research and valorization. In general, teachers have a 50-50 balance of research and valorization on one side and teaching on the other side. And this combination is especially visible in the master courses, where many teachers lecture about their own ongoing research. Mainly, this is research on tomorrow's problems, and I want to present just one example. As you might know, in many daily applications, Data needs to be sent, received, and stored, preferably in a secure way. Complex cryptology is used for allowing secrecy, very important for preserving privacy in the digital world. However, within five years, sorry, this type of computer will be available, the quantum computer. You probably have heard of it already. And this computer was a real threat because its computing power will be so huge that it can break all encryption methods used today. That is why one of our professors, Professor Tanja Lange, is doing research on post-quantum security, a topic that combines both the mathematics and computer science field. Doing research for tomorrow's problems enables us to educate the engineer of the future, which is the main ambition of this university. Our graduates find employment in all kinds of business and government. And of course, it helps that we are in the middle of the Brainport area, the high-tech area of the Netherlands. This university is also famous for its joint research with industry. And this pays off. We used to say, that we do not just award degrees, but provide careers. Today, we hand out bachelor certificates. Such a certificate is associated with the degree of Bachelor of Science. It demonstrates that the graduate meets the learning outcomes of the bachelor program, and hence is competent for proceeding into a Master of Science, but is also well prepared for entering the labor market for a career in the ICT domain, as will be shown today. Since we have so many graduates today, I can only say a few words about each individual student, but I have prepared some slides about the characteristics of the graduates of today, 70 in total, so including those that are not present here in this session. For instance, oops, where, sorry, where do they come from? 71% of the graduates of today is Dutch. 
and the other ones cover 13 other nationalities from uh, various countries, Romania, Greece, well, you can see them listed over there. Also Vietnam, China. How do they, uh, how are, uh, successful are they, is this uh, group of graduates? 21% receives a cum laude judicium today, which is very, very high. Also 10% of the 70 graduates completed an honors program. And completing an honors program means that you have worked in advanced projects for another 30 credits beyond the regular program. Uh, receiving the, uh, being awarded the cum laude judicium means that you have an average grade of eight and at least grade 8.5 for the final projects. Quite an achievement. Furthermore, two students receive a combined bachelor program in, com in mathematics and in computer science and engineering. And such a combined program requires 45 extra credits, apart from the 180 of a regular bachelor program. So it is a successful group of graduates. What we, con uh, uh, what we consider to be very interesting is how do they proceed? What is the next step? Two-thirds of the graduates proceed in a master here at the TUE. 14% with a master abroad, among which is a Chinese university, a Spanish one, one in Ireland, two in Switzerland, and four in England, namely in Oxford. This is quite remarkable, since not many students are accepted uh, and selected for the computer science master in Oxford. So here stands a proud program director. 12% already get, is employed. Until a few years ago, nearly all bachelor graduates continued in a master. Here at the TV, 90, 95%. This is rapidly changing, as you can see, especially in the group of international students. And my last slide here of the introduction shows what kind of master programs the graduates that uh, remain uh, at this university choose. 72% chooses computer science and engineering, 11% uh, embedded systems or information secu security technology, and uh, some choose for an, even another master outside this department. This concludes my introduction. It has become a tradition that one of the graduates gives a short presentation at this kind of ceremony. For this year, I invited Pantea to deliver her speech. Pantea was in the two o'clock session. I'm very happy she accepted to, do, uh, her, to deliver her speech here as well. She is an international student from Iran. She graduated cum laude next to completing an honors program. Currently, she is uh, studying a master program at Utrecht University on a full scholarship. Pantea, the floor is yours again. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Uh, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, as Marju said, I'm Pantea. I don't know all the uh, students here, but I'm glad to see you here graduating. So, uh, first of all, congratulations for your graduation. I made this joke. People in the other room liked it. Please like it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, I've been asked to uh, give a small talk about my experience here as an international student. Um, first of all, these are a few things that uh, I become amazed or became amazed once I came here to the Netherlands. As an example, we have this lady carrying a huge box on a bike. I can never do that, by the way. Not yet, anyways. Uh, um, the other things that I really liked about your country, your nice snacks, I love these things, all of them. Uh, thank you for making these. I enjoy them uh, a lot. So uh, not to get hungry, 
let's pass. Uh, I started my study here three years ago in this very building. And um, as many of you uh, also took uh, logic and set theory course, I started struggling with these flags and everything. Um, yeah. Uh, however, my experience uh, wasn't much different from your experience or other Dutch uh, students. And I'm really thankful about that because that allowed me to study here very comfortable and uh, focus on my path and study rather than being uh, busy with all the international stuff thing. Uh, so thank you, TUE, for that. Um, that means that today I won't talk much about my experience as an international. I would like to share with you uh, some of the lessons that I learned during the past three years. Um, the first lesson that I learned was to be brave. This lesson uh, was continuously reminded uh, to me um, from the first time that I actually took a leap of faith and came to this country uh, to continue my study here to every single time that I was taking over a very challenging task. And um, yes, every time that I was um, afraid or a bit doubtful if I can pull um, a new task off or if I will manage to finish it, uh, well, this lesson helped me to just jump into it and continue because uh, truth to be told, uh, we are all doubtful when we are about to do something new that no one has ever done or something that is a bigger scale, in a bigger scale or a bit more challenging. But if we do not take the first steps into that path, we might never find out if there is success at the end of it. So that was the very first thing that I learned. Uh, the second thing was to stay unsatisfied. Sure, being brave would get me started on different tasks or different jobs or very challenging courses. But staying unsatisfied was the key, or at least I found it to be the key that was pushing me. Um, every time that I wanted to slow down or stop trying or trying to achieve more, I would be reminded of the fact that no matter what you've achieved already, there's still more to achieve, so you shouldn't stop. And thanks to this, I managed to finish my study in three years and probably get cum laude. So um, this was also a very essential lesson that I learned. The third lesson is, however, a bit different. Uh, greater good. Um, I learned this during the third year of my study. This wasn't about me, self-centered, about my own path. It was something new. Um, during my third year, I had to um, start applying for different universities. And at that time, I happened to be working on a research project with one of the well-known uh, professors. You probably know her, Bettina Speckman. Uh, she understood that I am planning to also apply for scholarships in different universities. And once she asked me, why aren't you applying here in TUE? I told her that, okay, we have this rule that if you're an international and graduating here, you are not able to apply for a scholarship. Uh, she put quite some effort in changing that rule. Although that I already accepted some other offer at Utrecht, she actually managed to change this rule make it go away, and thanks to her, now internationals can graduate from here and also apply for a scholarship. This might not be of that significance for you, but since I was an international and I could feel how important that is, I was really amazed, and that actually made me learn a lesson that, uh, yes, you should actually take care of others and look out for each other, and that might not be directly beneficial for you, but um, in a sense, it will make a sense of unity in all of you and will help your community grow and makes it stronger and more progressive. So this was quite an exceptional lesson that I learned and it was only during last year of my study, but I do appreciate this lesson more than any other thing. Um, this is almost the end of my talk. So um, this graduation um, is just a new beginning for all of you and our paths may diverge, 
but um, there will be more adventures to come. And um, I wish all of you um, best of luck and success in your own adv adventures. And I hope that these lessons that I shared with you will come in handy at some point uh, during your adventures. Thank you for your attention. We now proceed with uh, the presenting the bachelor's certificates. One of the elements in our bachelor program that really contributes to the successful careers of our graduates is the software engineering project. It is the final bachelor project carried out in a group of seven to ten students with a very strict time schedule. In only seven to ten weeks, maybe eleven, the group has to deliver a prototype of a software product for a real-life customer, including all the required documentation, lots of documentation. The graduates of today have worked on very interesting projects for a large variety of customers. I will elaborate on only two of these projects, but I recommend that you take a look at the posters presented in the reception room. They are from the most recent projects and give you a a good idea of what these students' teams can accomplish at the end of their bachelor. Since we have to confer about 25 certificates, we have a strict protocol for both the graduates and the public. When I call forward the next group of the graduates, please line up at this side of the room and do that in the right order in the same order as your pictures on the screen from left to right and from top to bottom. Otherwise, you receive the wrong certificate. <laughs> I will say a few words to each of you and then Roel will come over with the, your certificates and hand out, will hand out the, these certificates to each of you. And at that moment, the public can applaud. Yes? Okay. Of course, you can also applaud for exceptional achievements, and we have some. But let's get started. I call forward the graduates participating in the Callisto team. Bogdan, Jorik, and Jasper. Hey, you were already annoyed. <laughs> okay, so Bogdan, yes, and then Jorik, and then Jasper. Yeah, 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 left to right, top to bottom, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's a difficult <laughs> test. Okay. The Callisto team. Yeah, uh, for the audience, it's always a, uh, a challenge to match these persons with the pictures when they were 18 years old. So give them a good, a good uh, view on you. <laughs> okay, well, well. Your client was Philips Research, the client of the Callisto project. They wanted to have a system that would support the analysis of health-related data of 60,000 critical care patients. Data stored in an enormous database. You tied two systems together, the existing huge database called MIMIC3 and the Jupyter platform that allows for editing and running documents consisting of text and live code. You created an easy to use plugin for the Jupyter system dedicated to analyzing and visualiz visualizing data from MIMIC, thus supporting research on the effects of treatments on critical care patients. The client, Mrs. Weffers Albu, I quote, considered the team to be very cooperative, organized, and willing to satisfy all wishes expressed by the supervision team. A good job done. End of quote. Congratulations. All three of you received the software science uh, certificate. And uh, not all of you proceed in a master here, as I understand. But uh, Bogdan, you will. You will proceed in the master computer science and engineering. That is correct. As will Jorik. 
Yeah, that is also correct. Jorik, I want to thank you for being a student assistant uh, and a student mentor. We definitely need student mentors who help our freshmen in the first half year uh, for uh, uh, getting, uh, finding their way in the, in the program, in the community, in the building, and all other <laughs> questions they, uh, they have. And you are a perfect role model. Thank you. Jasper, um, I have good news because you have been awarded the Judicium Cum Laude. So you may give him a hand. <laughs> what we do not know is what your next step will be. Um, master of Artificial Intelligence uh, in, Amsterdam. in Amsterdam. Okay, yes, uh, that, uh, man, that is a, uh, a master program the, that is popular. Well, not that popular, but more students, more of our graduates uh, enter there. Maybe you know already from last year's generation also uh, some students went there. Do you happen to know them? No, no not from my year. Not from your, no, 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 okay. Good. Well, good luck. I'm sure you will uh, be successful there as well. Roel, your turn. Congratulations, and you can take your seat. I now call forward the graduates of the team GESEP. Oops, sorry, this was a group. This was the group uh, picture of the Callisto team, the total team, the, the complete group. In, uh, group, including the project managers and supervisor. But now, GESEP, the turn is... To you. Maurits, Jean-Pierre, Ivan, Melroy, and George. Let's see. And give the audience a good look <laughs> to compare uh, your pictures. Okay. You had a very special client for your SEP project, <coughs> namely our own study association, GWIS, represented by the external affairs officer, Eva Lasche well known, I guess, to most of you. Gewis is contacted by many companies who want to get in touch with prospect employees in the ICT domain. These companies are willing to sponsor Gewis in exchange for services like organizing a lunch presentation by, a com by their company. For instance, Isaac, here you see some examples. Gewis was in need of a new administration system for having all the information about external parties stored in one database, including all contracts with these parties. The system needed to be user-friendly. User-friendly for the geeks of Gewis? Okay. Uh, and it should allow for contract generation and provide insight in the total profits of these contracts. The customer was very satisfied with the user requirements document. You put a lot of effort in that. And also in the way the communication between the team and her was established. She, she had a say in every decision. Not all desired functionality could be implemented in such a short term, but she is satisfied with the product and especially with the user friendliness of the interface. So, my compliments. <laughs> All of you graduate in the software science track and you all proceed in a master here. Yes, that is correct. In the previous session there was some uh, misinformation about the uh, next step of the graduates, but I'm glad to hear that uh, for you it is correct. Uh, Maurits, Jean-Pierre, um, Melroy and George all proceed in CSE. Yeah? And Ivan, you are the only outlier. <laughs> you proceed in the Master Information Security Technology. Yeah, I have some special words for, for, for you. You are from Lithuania. I always have difficulties to pronounce that correctly. You have quite a track record as student assistant, helping us out with many courses and other tasks, like checking the hardware for the computer systems uh, laboratories. Thank you, and also for thank you for staying with us, because we will profit from your uh, prolongation, I guess. 
Okay, thank you all. Good luck in your master program. I expect you to be here within two years again where you will have an individual personal uh, speech in your master graduation session. Who? Cool. Okay. From here on, I call forward to graduates in groups of different size and starting with some web science graduates, Thomas and Armand. Thomas, um, is it correct that you participated in the Accelerate SEP team? Yes, eh? for the U University Racing Team Eindhoven. Yeah. I hope the team could profit from your web science experience regarding good interface design. Apparently, the psychological aspects of the web science program interested you so much that you now continue in the human technology interaction master offered by the Department of Innovation Science and Industrial Engineering. So you are one of the 6% taking a master outside uh, the department. I am sure you will be successful there, and I am also sure you will be very popular for your programming skills over there at that department. Good luck. Armand, your SEP project was Cookie Client, yeah? where you had to build a web application. So here, your web science knowledge was an asset, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. You will proceed in this uh, CZ master. And I expect it will be the web science track. Okay, good for you. So a different route from that of Thomas, building up a different CV, but both attractive to many employers. So good luck, both of you, in your master program. Who? Okay. Now, some software science graduates. Stevie, Jeroen, and Dan. Uh, yeah. You passed the test? <laughs> okay, Stevie. Uh, like Armand, you were in the cookie client uh, uh, project. Uh, well. Yeah, and uh, you will also continue in the computer science and engineering master, but I guess with a different track. Yeah, with software science. The software science stream, I could have guessed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jeroen, you were in the SEP team professionals. Yes, to develop a connected football platform for Intuitive Technologies BV, a small company from a former professional soccer goalkeeper. And like Stevie, uh, you proceed in uh, the CSAE master. Yeah. I guess to become a Professional. Yeah, okay. Dan, you partic participated in the COSET uh, SEP team that developed a self assessment tool for students by offering various quizzes on specific re prerequisites. The customer of that project came from our own department, namely Bas Lutik, already mentioned and shown uh, by uh, Pantea on one of her slides, a well known and committed teacher. You chose to divert from the mainstream and continue in the data science engineering uh, program. Okay, here at the TUA, an interesting choice, and I, I'm sure you will be successful and a very uh, 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 good career will be ahead of you. Cool, up to you. Congratulations. And now for something completely different. It is also a tradition that one of the board members of GRIS, our study association, delivers a speech at these ceremonies. I therefore give the floor to the educational officer of GRIS, Luc Mewis. Hello, everybody. 
dear ladies and gentlemen, students and family and friends and everybody. Um, let me start by introducing myself, already Malus did, of course. Uh, I'm the educational officer of GWIS, which is the study association for mathematics and computer science. Um, unfortunately, our chairman and vice chairman couldn't make it due to some illnesses. It's, uh, it's fall, by the way. Um, I'm very glad to be standing here and seeing these people in the front happy to receive their bachelor degree. Um, this is a great uh, uh, achievement of you, and uh, you can be proud of yourselves, and your uh, friends and family can be as well, of course. Um, some of you know Gewis very well, and some of you got to know it via their, uh, their SEP project. Thanks, by the way, you did a great job. Um, I want to point out some people that have been very, uh, have been good to us and of, of much help. Um, I'll start with the English guy, Kagan. He's here, right? Oh, yes. Yes, uh, the, uh, the treasurer of sci-fi, right? Yes. Thanks, man. Um, <laughs> I'll now switch to Dutch for uh, the people who speak Dutch. Dus, uh, Alman, natuurlijk. Uh, gelift, de, de, de commissie die zorgt voor een mooie liftreis elk jaar. Uh, de webcommissie die zorgt dat onze site heel goed werkt. En natuurlijk nu hard bezig met de studiereis uh, in de commissie SAFA. Uh, want er uh, komt een reis naar Zuid-Afrika en uh, Amman zit in de commissie die dit organiseert. Verder, uh, Justin, die zorgt dat onze computers heel goed werken en de site natuurlijk. Daar zijn we ook heel dankbaar voor. En nu komen we tot twee mensen die echt heel veel hebben gedaan. Uh, Leroy, om te, om te beginnen. Dat was uh, de voorzitter van Gewis afgelopen jaar. Nou, je kunt je wel voorstellen dat dat natuurlijk heel veel tijd heeft gekost. Verder heeft hij ook de barcommissie gedaan. Hij zit bij een dispuut van Gewis, Boom. Hij heeft gekerst gedaan, onze Lustrumcommissie. Uh, en ook hij heeft in de internationale commissie Saifa gezeten. En Willem Mouwen, de bestuurder van vier jaar geleden... Uh, dat is ook niet het enige dat hij heeft gedaan. Hij maakt foto's voor ons. Hij zorgt dat het geluid en de video het altijd goed doet bij ons. Met de AVICO-commissie. Uh, hij heeft de introductieweek verzorgd. De, uh, de jaarboeken meerdere jaren verzorgd. Uh, hij zit ook bij een dispuut. Geponage. En ik kan zo nog wel even doorgaan. Super bedankt allemaal. Jullie, jullie hebben veel, ons veel geholpen. Zo. So, um, in the name of Chris, I would like to congratulate all of you for your uh, bachelor's degrees and uh, I'm sure you'll uh, have a great future and we hope to see you some more at Gewis. Um, also, if you need any help uh, for your career orientation, you're welcome to ask us. Have a good time and thank you. Thank you, Luke. We will continue. I call forward the next group of graduates. Kagan, Chris, Mark and Martijn. Kagan, you are the only web science uh, student of this uh, group. Uh, together with Chris, you were participating in the uh, sub-project Glow Sticks, and I often are reminded of that project, and I guess you can imagine why. This chimney, this wonderful lighted chimney. You had to develop an easy-to-use platform for the illumination of our old chimney at the campus. The chimney has been covered with more than 10,000 LEDs. If you wait until dark, you can see beautiful moving patterns on this landmark. And they helped to develop the software for the light architect that designs these patterns. Kagan, um, you are from Turkey. You will continue in the... Uh, no, you will not continue in the master program. You will uh, continue as, uh, as a, uh, an employee, but I do not know in what company you are already... Uh, in Central. In Central. Cent yes, okay, okay. As a front-end developer, right? back-end developer, okay. I'm sure you will uh, be successful because you have the right skills and knowledge to, to do so. Good luck in your career. And I have to thank you for your help in uh, recording the lectures of the Data Science Center. Yeah. 
the, the uh, public relations team told me that I should say that to you. Here you are. Um, Chris, you also were in the same, uh, same project, an uh, interesting project, and you can continue to, uh, to profit from it because you continue here in the CSE uh, master program. Yeah. Do you enjoy the patterns and the chimney? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure what the software is being used, actually. Don't say that <laughs> in public. <laughs> This is a professional skill he still has to develop. <laughs> okay, okay, well, but at least you are honest. <laughs> uh, Mark and Martijn, uh, you both were members of the Kick It uh, uh, project. You worked for the same customer as the uh, professionals project, though it has another name at that time where your team had to build a chat application on the connected football platform. That is correct. Huh? Uh, Mark, uh, like uh, Kaga, uh, Kagan, Kagan, you decided uh, to get the job, I am informed, and I'm sure you managed. Yeah, in what company? Google. You are the one who, uh, you, have, you are already accepted at Google. Yeah, I've been working for a long time now. Okay, as a site reliability engineer? Yeah, okay, hey, here's the Google guy. Uh, <laughs> and the next question is, Google in the Netherlands or in London? Okay, you came back from London? Yes, I to came back today and I'm going to be back. Google Pays, I suspect. No, no. no. <laughs> okay, 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 well, uh, great you are here today with us and good luck with your career, I'm sure that will be no problem at all. Uh, Martijn, unlike Mark, you do proceed in the master here, and we welcome that, uh, uh, of course, uh, namely in uh, the computer science and engineering. Yeah, uh, what track are you in? Software science. Software science. And uh, Network. you could? Networking. In networking. Okay, the more the hardware-oriented yes. side. Okay, it's uh, not mainstream. Uh, no. Good for you. Okay. <laughs> Who? Congratulations. I call forward the next group of software science students, Sergio, Jochem and Boy. Sergio, Jochem, I also try to match the pictures with the, with the, the persons. Sergio, you participated in the MetWeb project, SEP project. You had to develop a web interface to improve the adherence of patients to their prescribed medications, which is still a problem, as I recently heard. The customer was Farm IT, a startup of some alumni of our department. Uh, well, you proceed in the master program CZ, I am informed, and who knows, in the future, you become a customer of a SEP project yourself. That would be very nice. Jochem, you were in the LIT project, yeah? The customer of this project was a PhD student, yeah? an internal customer, but from the built environment department, yeah. Uh, who is doing research for improving the light quality in offices. Yeah? Your team had to develop a system that would help the researcher to conduct experiments and analyze the results. And you really managed very well because the customer, like all customers, was satisfied. In uh, your current master program, also CSE, yeah, you might get involved in other projects of the Intelligent Lighting Institute because our department is heavily involved in this uh, institute. So, good luck for you. Boy, you only receive one certificate today. Yes. yes of the software science uh, program, but on Tuesday he graduates for the mathematics program. So he has uh, passed the combined program of applied mathematics and computer science and engineering. So give him a hand because that's quite an achievement. And, and
And on top of that, he also completed the honors program in the big data program, which is really, really a lot of effort on top of a combined program. And now, yes, it is. But you like a challenge because now you combine two master programs, I am told. The industrial and applied mathematics program, master program, and the computer science and engineering program. In some ways. In some ways? Yes. Explain. It's, it's actually a program at the university. So it's at the UE and the University of Madrid. So oh, this is one of the EIT uh, yes. programs. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, congratulations, and um, we'll see you back because your second year is here? Or yeah, your my second year is in, in so Milan. Okay, great. So, you will also have two separate uh, certificates uh, in two years for two master programs. That's at least your ambition. You'll manage. You'll manage, no doubt. Rule, hand out the certificates. And I'll see you, uh, boy, uh, and you on Thursday again. <laughs> The next group, Justin, Manuel, and Leroy. Manuel. Manuel, Justin, and Leroy. Yes, correct. Manuel, you graduate in web science today, the, others, the other two in software science. Well, I have good news for you and for your family in Spain because you are awarded the Judicium Cum Laude. Congratulations. And next to that, you have quite a track record as teaching assistant, as a student assistant. Thank you very much for that. And I hope you will still be available during your master program. Great. CSE here in Eindhoven. That's what I like to hear. Thank you. Uh, Justin, Justin, do I pronounce it correctly? Yeah. Um, like boy, you only receive one certificate today, that of software science. But soon you will also be, uh, I hope you will pass the, uh, the applied mathematics program, at least that is your intention, isn't it? Yeah, 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 so only a few courses. Well, you like both mathematics and computer science, so no wonder you choose to proceed in the master program information security and technology. That is correct, I hope? Yes. Yeah, so this is typically a, a domain that combines both, uh, both science uh, domains. So good luck and uh, good for us that you stay, uh, stay here. Leroy, well, you got enough attention already, just given. <laughs> Uh, well, also the, the department uh, wants to express uh, our appreciation for your activities in Gewiss as a board member. We have seen each other quite some, on quite some occasions. And as a program director, I also thank you for being a student mentor. So uh, that is a very serious job, unlike being active in Gewiss. Serious mentor is a serious job. No, kidding. So um, I guess Gervis will be very happy that you stay in Eindhoven because you proceed in the master uh, CSE as well. Correct? Huh? That's true. The yeah. The data science track. Okay. You're not the data science and engineering master that we also have, but uh, no, sorry, the data science and entrepreneurship program. I myself get confused of all these data science master programs. Yeah. Okay. Good for you. Roel, please hand out the certificates. forward the last group all software science students graduates I should say Marleen Theodoros and Willem Marleen Theodoros okay yeah yeah okay Marleen and Theodoros you both worked in the same final project team in the uh, Marleen can you 
step back somewhat. Yes, then I can see Theodore's. Yeah. In the Smart uh, S team, and your challenge was to develop an easily accessible information si uh, system for all the city's information. Your customer was a mix of several parties, which was not always easy, like TNO, TUE, the Eindhoven City, City Council, and other, some others even. Uh, but you managed well. And Marlene, you now proceed in the CEZ Master. That is correct, yes. So you will be standing here within two years in your uh, graduation ceremony for the uh, master, yeah, I hope. Um, Theodorus, you uh, chose another direction, as I was told. Uh, um, you will not proceed in the master, but you uh, are already working on all kinds of uh, projects and maybe even for a company. Yes, uh, I am currently for this company in Eindhoven. In FO company in Eindhoven. You, uh, you will uh, definitely be successful. And uh, I'm glad you stay here in the Netherlands, yes. coming from Greece, yeah, so it, uh, you don't mind the rain, I, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Good luck in your career. Then Willem, you worked in the Zeus project, a small team of only six persons, quite exceptional, so you had to work very hard. Your assignment was to create an interactive demo for the Metaforum Living Lab, also an intelligent lighting institute project. And you managed. There was a demo. Yeah. Now you proceed in the uh, IST program uh, here at the TUE. So Chris can still profit from all your experience and uh, activities. So good luck for you too. And thanks for being a board member of Chris. Uh, cool. <coughs> My sincere congratulations to all of you, also to the graduates who could not attend today and who are viewing the live stream. Our present to you, graduates, is in your certificate folder. Maybe you have already seen it. It contains a voucher that can be exchanged in the student shop for one and only DUE hoodie. I hope you will wear it with pride and, of course, comfort. Before closing this ceremony, I still have one important duty, to inform you on the code of scientific conduct as laid down by our, by our executive board. So I hope you all listen carefully. The scientific degree of bachelor involves duties as well as rights. As a holder of this degree, you are committed to standards of scientific integrity, trustworthiness, intellectual honesty, openness, and independence. These standards are described in more detail in the Netherlands Code of Conduct for Scientific Practice and in the Eindhoven Code derived from it. You also have duties towards society. You must be clear about the boundaries of your own expertise, and you must communicate honestly and independently about the results of your work, including potential risks associated with it. You are committed to the ethical codes for research and design involving, involving human subjects or animals. End of quote. Well, this last sentence, experiments involving human uh, subjects or animals, does not very much apply to computer scientists, more for biomedical uh, engineers, but still it is part of the code. And who knows in which applications or companies you will be working. Then, a last announcement. After I have closed the meeting, there will be a reception in the Voorhof, which is at the backside uh, of the blue room, it is on the first floor, uh, but the graduates first need to stay here and group together for the traditional group picture. Parents who want to take a picture as well can come 
to the front here, but the others are requested to leave because the photographer told me that he doesn't want any other person in the seats for, in the background. So, now we have a... Uh, well, where's the photographer? <laughs> Well, they are used that I am always late in my presentation, so I guess they assumed I wasn't ready before a quarter past four, five. <laughs> so, um, let's improvise. Um, you still group together, so the parents can make a group picture, and then I hope the uh, photographer will arrive uh, on a short notice. Yeah? <laughs> 